Hello there! In this video we will demonstrate how to set up a simple vehicle control system. For demonstration we're going to use our farm game project. We'll talk more about it at the end of the video. Now to start let's go inside our tractor and set our physics to kinematic. Let's go to controls and add a keyboard move node and let's add a move node and a rotate node. The output from a keyboard move node is either 1, 0 or negative 1, depending on direction where you want to go. Let's connect our Y axis to move and our X axis to rotate. The move node has support for direction. If we take a look, we use the input value as the direction and it's used when fixed delta time is being calculated. The rotate node does not have support for direction, so we'll add the same logic here. Let's set direction to the value. And at the top, let's declare our variable. And while our delta time is being calculated, let's replace one with direction. That's all we need to add support for direction to rotate. Let's set our value of rotate to negative 90. And move, let's set to 3. And also turn on follow rotation. That's all you need to do to create a simple vehicle controller. Let's take a look why we use kinematic physics instead of dynamic physics. So let's switch to dynamic and let's test it out and as you can see the behavior is nowhere near close to what we want it to be. We will make a separate video how to add vehicle controls for dynamic physics. Now as mentioned a little bit about farm game project. Currently this is how far we got into this project. We have our inventory UI and we created 3D World that communicates back and forth with the inventory UI. We've already published two video tutorials on this project and our question to you viewers, are you interested in seeing us making more tutorials in this project or should we just start making devlogs on it? Write in the comments what you think about it and thank you for all the support.